I've done a podcast now for four years and over 150 episodes. And I've had a lot of people come to me and say, well, what kind of podcast can I do? How can I do it? And quite a few of them have actually done podcasts and have done nice jobs. But the, I thought I would just give you some ideas. If you're going to do a podcast, mine is in the art field. That's what I do. That's what I know. And I think if you're going to do one, pick a subject matter that you are very interested about, something that you love and something that you're going to follow through with, because it's very difficult to do long term podcasts. I have to tell you, you know, if you're not into the format, if you're not into what you're talking about, you're going to make it maybe 20, 30 podcasts and then you're going to drop out. That's fine. You may have brought some information to the table, and that's really what podcasts are, is to enlighten people, to bring new information, new ideas. That's how I see them. But, you know, it's not going to be a serious podcast if you're only going to do 30. You know, you have to have a long-term horizon. You're going to want to do this for at least a year minimum. And really, I feel like a five-year minimum commitment is what you need to do on a podcast. That's a lot. It's a lot of work. It's money. And that brings the other part. Do you make money on podcasts? No, you really probably don't. There's some that make a lot of money. Joe Rogan got $100 million to go to Spotify. But we're not Joe Rogan, and we're not the first, and he has an amazing skill set. You know, you can use Patreon. You can do some advertising. There may be some things that you can do to make money. But it shouldn't, in my opinion, be the reason to do a podcast. Do a podcast because you want to get your name out there if you want. In my case, I had stories I wanted to hear. That was it. It was, you know, nothing else, nothing more simple than I wanted to hear the stories of artists, art dealers, collectors come through my life. And that's why it's called the Art Dealer Diaries to understand better why I do what I do as an art dealer. Why am, an art, why am I an art dealer? So if you can find that thing that you're really interested in, then that's the that's the most important part of starting the podcast and having the commitment to it. Then you have to decide, okay, is it going to be a long format or short format? It's going to be scripted. So I do long format, you know, usually an hour to two and a half hours. Rogan does three hours. He's an animal. I don't know how he does it, but he's amazing because he can do it so long. You know, you have Mark Maron who does a fantastic job on podcasts, similar to the kind of what I like to do. So you can figure out short, long you can do a very nice podcast in 30 minutes and it can be wonderful. You can also do scripted. Those are the ones that really make the money. Um, those aren't the things I do. I, and I really don't have advice to you how to do that or what to do. I can tell you, though, if you're going to do a podcast, get good material as far as, you know, the cameras, the mics, soundproof room, if possible. You can do it in, in person or you can do it Zoom. I've done the first Two thirds of mine were all in person, which I thought was fantastic. I said I'd never do it, you know, remotely. I just can't see it. Pandemic came, did it remotely. Zoom. I like it just as well, maybe better. You know, your your artists or your people you're interviewing feel much more comfortable in their own environment. It works beautifully as long as you have, uh, you know, good cameras. And there's always going to be problems with Zoom. It's just the way it is. Things stick, and you just have to learn how to deal with the pauses and things like that. But once you do it. It's a great way. And you'll be able to get interviews from people that you probably couldn't because they're not going to come to, in my case, like Tucson, Arizona. Not everybody wants to come to Tucson, Arizona. Don't know why, but they don't. And so figure out the format, long or short, interest. And then once you start the podcast, I think the most important thing I can tell you is it's about them, not you. Let them talk, listen, and you have to listen. You can't be coming up with questions and things that you want to say and you're reading off a list or, you know, and you're not listening to the person. You're just trying to ask your next question. That That's about you, not them. So if you want to do an interview style with different people, well, regardless of what it is, you have to be a good listener. And it takes it does take time to become that, you know, and I've gotten better with time and just interviewing hundreds of people over hours and hours. It, that is what it's going to take. So if you want to do a podcast, I think it's great. I enjoy mine. I'm glad I do it. Um, I have fun. I meet people and have new relationships every day that is really interesting, and I'm thankful that I've done it. But it's, it's a time commitment. And so if you want to do one, be committed. <laughs>